This is the Ricoh PX, Ricoh's first consumer level waterproof camera. Now it can be plunged to depths of up to three meters and it can stay underwater for up to an hour at a time. Now there are many waterproof cameras out there but a lot of them don't look like this. They have typically bright colors whereas this one is available in black and also in white, uh, but it's more subdued and I think it looks more like a typical camera. So perhaps when you're not by the pool, it won't stand out quite so much. In fact, the only real sign that it is a waterproof camera is that when you turn it on, the lens doesn't protrude out the front of the camera. Now that lens is a 28 to 140 millimeter lens. So that's got an optical range of five times, which is Pretty decent for a waterproof camera. It's got a 16 megapixel sensor with image stabilization and the display on the back is a little small at 2.7 inches and the resolution isn't terrific. It's a 230,000 dot screen but it's got a lot of very nice features this camera. First up we've got the ability to select five of your favorite settings from the scene modes so you can get quick access to them. Now you access that by setting by pressing this premium button here and you can see all the settings just there and by pressing the star button that will apply it as your favorites so you've got quick access to them that way. Now when you're accessing those scene modes if you're ever unsure of what the scene mode causes the camera to do then you can just pull the zoom lever slightly to the right there where there's the magnifying glass and that will bring up some on-screen information telling you what that scene mode can be used for. Now, also there are some interesting features when you're just in the regular shooting mode. If you press this button here, you can get the brightness or the darkness up bar up on the right of the screen, so you can adjust that, and you can get the color temperature along the bottom, so you can have an even cooler or a warmer temperature. So really quick to access and a very intuitive feature. Now one manual override that you have over one of the scene modes is the ability to change the size of the focus area when using the miniaturize mode. Now the miniaturize mode is a fun setting that will make photos of people or cars look like toys when taken from a particular angle. And it recreates the effects that you can have with an expensive digital SLR when using a tilt shift lens. Now, what that does to the camera is that it either blurs the picture at the top or the bottom and keeps the center in focus. Now, with this override, you're able to move the positioning of that focused area and change the size of it to get some rather interesting effects. Now, beyond stills, this camera is also capable of shooting HD video. That's at 720p resolution, and there's a dedicated button just here so you can quickly access that feature. Now with it being a waterproof camera, it means that all the seals are very tightly closed, which makes it uh, more resilient to dust and sand as well. So it's really ideal for a beach holiday or one by the pool. Now I didn't take it to the beach or the pool with me this weekend, but I did accidentally drop it in the fish tank and it survived that fine. So just on the bottom here, you've got your waterproof, well sealed chamber for the battery, your SD card, and you've also got your charger, charging point over USB there too. As well as being waterproof, Ricoh claims that this camera can be dropped from a height of about 1.5 meters. Now I wasn't prepared to try that with this model. Uh, however, it does also come with a case to give it that extra durability. Now we'll be buying the Ricoh PX soon and putting it through its lab paces to see how it compares to other waterproof cameras that are currently on the market. But in the meantime, if you want to read reviews of other waterproof cameras and hundreds of other digital cameras, go to our website at witch.co.uk forward slash cameras. <laughs>